Roberts versus versus Ramazan Amiv. This one, this one's a little uh, one sided in my opinion. Danny Roberts three and two in his last five, coming off a win over Zelen Amadov, but that was back in November of 2019. Hasn't fought since. Thirteen of his seventeen wins have been by finish, mostly by mostly by KO TKO. He's got a slightly positive uh, striking differential and a crazy 6% takedown accuracy. 6%. Um, and only 53% takedown defense. Really struggles with grappling. He's taken on Ramazan Amiv, who if you're struggling with grapp- and grappling, you don't want to fight a guy from Dagestan, who's 5-1 and one in the UFC. He's running a two-fight winning streak. He has an international master of sports in Sambo. Great cardio. Just wears on his opponent, similar to his fellow Dagestanians. Um, all, being a lot of fight, though. Yeah, all of his fights have gone the distance, but the biggest factor in this fight is Amiv's 2.3 takedowns per fight at 30% accuracy. Roberts has problems stopping the takedowns in the past, so I'm confidently picking Amiv in this one. Yeah, I got uh, Goretz <laughs> over hot chocolate, even though I love me some hot chocolate. Um, but yeah, let's be real here. Danny Roberts, he's they both have split decision wins over David Zawada, if that means anything to anybody. No. Um, but yeah, he's been susceptible to being knocked out and submitted. And uh there's a good chance that uh Amid finishes this one, in my opinion. Yeah. I would go I, I would choose I would go with the under in this fight. The under? No, I, I don't know about that. I mean, I think, loves I think he can squeeze something. You think he gets his first finish? Yeah. Roberts is very finishable. I mean, he is. Can't argue there, but we're both agreeing. We're both going Ramazan.